Hey everyone, welcome back. It's Pro Warriors here. Today, I want to talk about something really close to my heart, Skyline. Now, if you've been following along, you know Skyline isn't just any emulator. It's been our portal to bringing Nintendo Switch games into the palm of our hands on Android, an experience that's left me amazed each time I've played. Despite trying various Yuzu forks, nothing has quite matched the magic of Skyline. But the Skyline dev team has decided to move on, and they're not continuing the project. Today, I'm here to walk you through setting it up step by step so you can experience Experience that incredible performance for yourself, holding on to what Skyline has given us. If you find this video helpful, please make sure to like and subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to hit the bell button for notifications. When I started working on this video, I couldn't help but feel a wave of nostalgia. Back in the golden days, Skyline and Yuzu stood side by side, pushing each other, creating a fierce but friendly rivalry. Those days weren't just about emulation, they were about innovation, passion, and a love for the games we grew up with. Yuzu may have emerged as the newer, evolved version, but Skyline's legacy lives on, representing a journey we shared together, one that holds a special place in our hearts. Skyline's team had to remove all official download links from their Site, despite the removal, those dedicated to finding the emulator can still locate it unofficially. The app's familiar layout brings back memories for users who manage to access it this way. It will ask you to select a folder or directory where it will automatically run your games. In the file manager, go to your internal storage and create a new folder. You can name it something like Nintendo, as I did here. Inside this folder, I'm creating three additional folders for GPU drivers, product keys, and games. Now, enter the games folder, tap use this folder and allow the emulator to access your games. If you've used other emulators like Pine or Live 4K, you'll notice that the features and interface are quite similar, as this emulator is a clone of Skyline. Now click the gear icon in the top left corner. You'll see two options, product keys and title keys, as well as the newly added firmware, which isn't available in other versions. You'll need to manage these files yourself, and keep in mind that without these keys, Skyline won't launch any games. You can see I already have both files stored in my keys folder. Sorry, but I can't share direct links. To install the product keys and title keys, tap product keys, navigate to your keys folder, and select prod keys. A notification will confirm the keys were successfully imported. Do the same for the title keys by selecting title keys from the folder, and you'll receive a confirmation that the keys were imported successfully. If you want to add firmware, you can follow the same steps. Tap firmware and select the firmware file from your file manager. However, this step is not mandatory. Before adding games, I'd like to configure the settings and controls. Once again, click the gear icon and scroll down. If you scroll just a bit, you'll find the option Always show game information, which shows game info when you long press on it. If your device isn't powerful enough, be sure to disable docked mode. Enable the internet option, and also enable sustained performance. If you want to view FPS and CPU performance during gameplay, turn on the Show Performance Statistics option. Enable Max Display Refresh Rate to achieve 60 Hz. There are also options for Screen Orientation and Aspect Ratio, but I'll leave those at their default settings. An important setting here is the Custom GPU Driver. By default, it selects your device's GPU, but you can install custom GPU drivers for better performance. I've included a download link in the description. Please note that only Snapdragon processors are currently supported for custom GPU driver installation. If you're not using a Snapdragon device, unfortunately, you won't be able to install GPU drivers. There are many more options available, but I won't cover them all today. One more important option is the configure controller setting. You can select the type of controller you're using, and if you have an external controller, be sure to disable on-screen controls. Tap Edit On-Screen Controls Layout. Here, you can easily customize the control keys and place them wherever you like. You can resize any of the keys, adjust their opacity, and change the activation radius. If you need to mark certain keys, you also have that option. I'd give the control customization a solid 10 out of 10. Before you start any game, it's important to check whether it's playable on the emulator. Skyline has a compatibility list on their GitLab page. From there, you can check if your favorite game is supported. Make sure to unzip the game files and move them into the games folder. Now go back to Skyline, and if it's not showing any games, just swipe up. It will immediately display all the games you've added to the folder. Now let's play. The gaming experience is so good, you might stop playing on your Nintendo Switch, even if you own one. This version has made significant improvements, and I highly recommend giving it a try. For any additional information or questions, feel free to join our Discord server.
and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon for future updates. See you in the next video. Take care.